Amazonas is one of the oldest true archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh! and the second deck of the popular Duel Monsters character, My Valentine. While always in the shadows of Mai's original Harpy deck, Amazonas has the distinction of being played by multiple characters across the franchise. In addition to Mai, there is Tanya from GX and the Tyler sisters from Arc 5. By having so many players and being used by arguably the most popular female character from the franchise, Amazonas has had multiple waves of support since its original release back in 2003's Labyrinth of Nightmare. Today we're here to talk about the top 10 Amazonas cards. But before we get to the topic of today, if you liked today's video, be sure to share it, like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Also be sure to check out my card game, Hyperdruken. Now with two sets released, the playable roster is up to six. Fight to be the Cosmic Champion. We start this list with the oldest card on this list. My 2003's Amazonas Swordswoman. Easily the best card of the original waves of Amazonas cards. Amazonas Swordswoman is a level 4 warrior monster with 1500 attack, 1600 defense and 1 effect. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving this card. While a strong effect, what keeps Amazonas Swordswoman even worth discussing is how many different options you have for utilizing her. On base value, if your opponent has a strong monster, you can slam her into it, they take the damage. You could use Amazonas Village to do this and gain a new level 4 Amazonas monster at the same time. You could use Amazonas Queen and Amazonas Call to make Swordswoman unable to be destroyed by battle and slam into all of your opponent's monsters, either destroying them or causing them to take battle damage. You could use Amazonas Heirloom, meaning Swordswoman can't die and her target dies regardless. Lastly, you could use Double Edged Sword, pumping her up to 3500 and causing your opponent to take battle damage twice from her attacks. While very much benefiting from equip cards, something that is a little bit of a liability, Amazonas Swordswoman still combos into other cards beautifully and is still one of the best Amazonas cards, securing her the number 10 spot. The number 9 card on this list sees us go straight to the archetypal fusion spell for Amazonas, Amazonas Secret Arts. Amazonas Secret Arts isn't a normal spell card, but a quick play spell card, something that is very relevant with all four Amazonas fusion cards as they all provide some type of protection for your other Amazonas cards. On base value, Amazonas Secret Arts is a bog standard fusion spell, quite literally polarization at spell speed 2 locked to Amazonas. The second effect, however, is where Amazonas Secret Arts gets interesting. You can banish it to send an Amazonas monster from your extra deck to the graveyard as material for a fusion summoning. Unfortunately, Amazonas Secret Arts has a clause where you can only use one of these effects per turn, the Fusion Summon or the Material Tutor. This makes Amazonas Secret Arts a little bit of a clunky card, needing polarization to be used in tandem with it to create the desired results. Fortunately, Amazonas can now search for polarization via Spiritualist, but it's a case of getting both cards fusing into one of the lower fusion monsters, then fusing into the actual goal, Amazonas Augusta. The fusion substitution effect only really becoming relevant on later turns should you need to summon additional Amazonas Augusta or if you can send Amazonas Secret Arts to the grave early. Amazonas Secret Arts being a quick play spell does help a lot and open up many tactical opportunities for it while the sport Amazonas is now packing helps patch its holes. It's also valuable as a recovery tool. Amazonas Secret Arts may have its quirks, 
but still a good card and worthy of the number 9 spot. For our number 8 card, we turn our attention to the extra deck and the final form of Amazonas Tiger. Amazonas Pet Liger King, a level 9 fusion beast monster with 2900 attack and 2800 defense, made with a level 5 or higher Amazonas monster and another Amazonas monster. Your opponent's monsters can only attack Amazonas Pet Liger King while it's on your field. You can target one Amazonas card you control and one Amazonas Warrior monster in your graveyard. Destroy the card on the field to special summon the card from your graveyard. But Pet Liger King can't attack that turn and you can only do this once per turn. As with Amazonas Pet Liger and Amazonas Tiger, Amazonas Pet Liger King can create a floodgate. Get two Pet Liger King or a Pet Liger King and either of those earlier forms on the board and your opponent literally cannot attack. However, in the current game, it's probably more likely that you'll be fusing into Amazonas Pet Liger King during your opponent's turn via Secret Arts to cause a replay and potentially create something your opponent cannot beat over. If you have both Amazonas Pendulum set, the Pet Liger King is 4700 after all. The rest of the card is interesting due to the real end goal of Amazonas Pet Liger King, making Amazonas Augusta. Pet Liger King is currently the easiest Amazonas fusion monster to make, with the recent wave of support giving two more Amazonas monsters with a level of 5. While the claws of it not being able to attack seems harsh, chances are you're tagging into Amazonas Princess to grab Amazonas Secret Arts and fuse into Augusta giving Augusta two attacks. As Amazonas can now recover their spells and traps, you could even use Amazonas Onslaught to grab Princess, giving you an additional Amazonas monster on the board. Amazonas Pet Liger King has its uses itself, but is essential for Amazonas in reaching their boss monster. That gives it the number 8 spot. The number 7 spot goes to one of the new level 5 Amazonas monsters necessary to summon Amazonas Pet Liger King, and best of all, it's pretty useful too, Amazonas Warchief. Amazonas Warchief is a level 5 warrior monster with 1900 attack and 0 defense. She can be special summoned from your hand if you control no monsters or only Amazonas monsters. Then if she's normal or special summoned, you can set one Amazonas spell or trap or polarization directly from your deck, but you can only attack with Amazonas monsters that turn. Both effects are hard once per turn. Amazonas Warchief is the first of many great opening cards in the Amazonas arsenal. Unlike quick play spells, normal spells along with field spells and equip spells can be used the turn they're set. You can use the polarization Warchief set along with her as material to fuse into Amazonas Pet Liger King very early on, potentially even gain the other card back off of the summon if it was Baby Liger or one of the Pendulum Amazonas monsters, the latter of which can be used to further extend with other Amazonas cards. Or if you need another Amazonas card set, Warchief has you covered there too, but unlike other Amazonas monsters that tutor for spells or traps, Warchief doesn't use up your normal summon for that turn. Amazonas Warchief is a great addition to the Amazonas archetype, bringing it consistency, power, and supporting the fusion monsters. Amazonas Warchief gains our number 7 spot. For our number 6 card, we look to Amazonas Warchief's partner in crime, Amazonas Spiritualist. Amazonas Spiritualist is a level 2 warrior monster with 800 attack and 1800 defense. If she is in your hand or graveyard, you can bounce an Amazonas card you control except another copy of Spiritualist to special summon her, but you can only special summon Amazonas monsters from your extra deck for the duration of the turn. When she is special summoned, you can add one polarization from your deck to your hand. Both effects are a hard once per turn. 
Amazon is spiritual first effect is amazing and that you can bounce Amazon as cards, not just monsters. So you can play either Golden Whipmaster or Silver Swordmaster into the Pendulum Scales, bounce it for Spiritualist, then discard it for something else, where it can be brought back to the scales once you special summon an Amazonus. Or the Field Spell, Amazonus Village. That also fills this niche quite nicely. With Polarization and Spiritualist, you can go into three of the four Amazonus Fusions quite easily, depending on the rest of your resources. And next turn bounce something, likely one of the Pendulums, to Special Summon her back and gain another Polarimization, giving you more fuel for ultimately Amazonus Augusta. With the right hand of War Chief, Spiritualist, either Pendulum Monster or Village, and either Princess or Queen, you can get Amazonus Augusta first turn too. Fairly consistent recovery that can be made into a plus, plusing into Polarimization. Amazon as Spiritualist gives a ton of value in one card and most certainly deserves the number 6 spot. We've seen the final form of Amazon as Tiger, but what about its first form? Well that's the number 5 card on this list, Amazon as Baby Tiger. Amazon as Baby Tiger is a level 2 beast monster with 500 attack and defense. It is considered to be Amazon as Tiger while on the field and in the grave. Once per turn, when you normal or special summon an Amazonus, while this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can special summon it. Finally, it gains 100 attack for every Amazonus card in your graveyard. Amazonus is all about swarming, and Amazonus Baby Tiger helps you out with that a lot, providing a free body per turn for just doing what your deck does. That's all well and good, but the wording, now it combos into other cards, is where it really shines. With Amazonas Secret Arts being a quick play spell, you can use it on your opponent's turn. Fusion summoning is special summoning, so you get a free baby tiger. From there you can use it next turn to summon into something else. Then when you summon an Amazonas, get baby tiger back. It's perfect fusion material too. Speaking of that, the clause that makes it Amazonas Tiger. Amazonas Pet Liger is one of the easier fusion monsters to summon and requires pet tiger as material. From there, it's much easier to summon Augusta. This really is just the tip of the iceberg for Amazonas Baby Tiger, as it's perfect discard fodder too, though that changes considerably with the Amazonas Pendulum monsters existing. Nevertheless, nothing provides the recursion Amazonas Baby Tiger does for the deck, and that secures it the number 5 spot. With the number 4 spot, we return to the quick play spells and fantastic openers for Amazonas in Amazonas Call. Amazonas Call can take any one Amazonas card from your deck and either place it into your hand or send it to your graveyard. During your main phase, you may banish Amazonas Call from your graveyard, target one Amazonas monster you control, and during that turn, it may attack all of your opponent's monsters once that turn, but your other monsters can't attack. You may only activate one Amazonas Call per turn. Amazonas Call's ability to tutor anything Amazonas or be a burial type effect is undoubtedly powerful, but it's not so much a combo starter as it is a hand filter card. Call doesn't really do anything by itself, but secures you a piece you may need for the rest of your hand to function, or even your combo starter in Amazonas Princess, War Chief, or Spiritualist. The burial effects uses are limited, as most of the time anything you grab can be better used as fusion materials or pitch fodder, but Amazonas Call can be useful with Amazonas Secret Arts. Send arts to the graveyard, use Spiritualist or War Chief to grab polarization, then fuse Empress and your Amazonas into Augusta very early on. The graveyard effect itself is equally as limited, really only having the ability to give Amazonas Swordswoman or Empress to go into OTK potential or have something strong enough that is easier to summon than Augusta to have board clearing potential. It's not useless, but limited. The focus is on its effect as a spell activated from hand 
or board. While it's ultimately just a hand filter or sets up a fusion summon, Amazonas Call might just be one of the better tutor cards in the game due to its ability to grab anything archetype wide, and that gives it the number 4 spot. When discussing Amazonas Baby Tiger, I said it was a boon to be able to summon Amazonas Pet Liger as that is necessary for another card. The number 3 spot is that card, and we've mentioned it a lot. Amazonas Augusta, the final form of Amazonas Queen. Amazonas Augusta is a level 10 warrior fusion monster with 3200 attack and 2800 defense made with one Amazonas fusion monster and one Amazonas monster. While Amazonas Pet Liger King is becoming easier to summon thanks to Amazonas Warchief and Amazonas Golden Whipmaster, Baby Tiger's recursion ability keeps the original Amazonas Pet Liger easier to summon on a whim, making it a more reliable choice as the game progresses. You're not always going to have Amazonas Secret Arts in the grave, or even want to use it, since Amazonas can get back their spells and traps easily. So having other fusions that are just as easy to go into is a good backup plan. Amazonas Augusta protects your other Amazonas cards from being targeted or destroyed by your opponent's effects. If one of the fusion materials used to fusion summon Augusta was Empress or Queen, she gets a second attack. Finally, hard once per turn, if this card was fusion summon, you can special summon one Amazonas from your deck. Amazonas Augusta is an interesting retrain of Amazonas Empress in that it's carrying a lot of the same beats, but is radically different and updated for current day. Both battle protection and piercing aren't quite as relevant as they once were, so she protects from the far more relevant effects and provides a double attack, should you use Amazonas Empress or Queen as material. That one is actually quite interesting as her attack is likely 5200, not 3200, due to both Pendulum Monsters providing 100 attack per her level, meaning she is swinging for very large amounts, twice, potentially clearing out enough to make her second swing direct and take the game. It's also worth noting that unlike Amazonas Queen and Empress, Augusta does not render Amazonas Village void as she doesn't protect from battle. You can still send the Amazons on hopeless jobber missions to grab a more appropriate Amazonas for the job at hand. A little clunky to summon, but a much improved boss for Amazonas, Amazonas Augusta takes the number 3 spot. The sole trap card on this list, a number 2 card gives Amazonas a certain niche that can be incredibly disruptive to the current game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Our number 2 card is Amazonas Onslaught. A continuous trap card, Amazonas Onslaught allows you to special summon an Amazonas monster from your hand during the battle phase, and it gains 500 attack for the turn. After damage calculation, if your Amazonas monster battled an opponent's monster while Onslaught is already face up on your field, you can banish your opponent's monster. Finally, if this card on your field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one Amazonas monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Amazonas Onslaught has a really cool niche where it starts mass banishing your opponent's cards. Something becomes very important in modern Yu-Gi-Oh where so many cards have effects while in the grave. This can be utilized in a couple of ways, using Amazonas Queen to protect your monsters from battle and slash or Augusta to protect them from effects, or turning Baby Tiger into DD Warrior Lady that can return each turn. Either way you go, removing your opponent's monsters from the game puts many decks into a position where they most as well scoop. But there is more than this. It can be used not only to swarm, but get around tribute summoning. It doesn't specify anything but archetype. You can use this to get out Amazonas Queen or Golden Whipmaster if necessary. It doesn't specify whose turn either, so you can use Onslaught to not only never tribute summon, but recover from monster destruction, prevent monster destruction, 
or redirect attacks, potentially even combo into Amazon's secret arts to fuse into something unexpected during your opponent's turn. Oh, and if your opponent destroys it, you get an Amazonus from the grave. Amazonus Onslaught is a superb little card that gives Amazonus a very useful niche that is hard to find elsewhere and covers a few of their weaknesses. A necessary inclusion in both the Amazonus deck and as the number two card on this list. We finished this list in style. The number one Amazonus card is the Amazonas Princess, the youngest version of the Amazonas Queen. A level 3 warrior monster with 1200 attack and 900 defense, Amazonas Princess is considered to be Amazonas Queen while in the field and in the grave. If she's normal or special summoned, you can add an Amazonas spell or trap from your deck to your hand. When she declares an attack, you can send another card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon one Amazonas monster from your deck in defense position, except Amazonas Princess. Amazonas Princess is the perfect starter for Amazonas, allowing you to search the exact spell and trap you need, be it Onslaught, Sacred Arts, Village, or even Call to grab whatever monster you need, then on attack, consistently get whatever Amazonas monster you need. Yes, it's in defense mode, but Amazonas has some great protection and redirection. You can use that monster fuse into an Amazonas card via Secret Arts too. So if Princess should die, you can respond with Secret Arts and fuse into Empress and be able to attack with something much stronger. More than that, the ability to combo into other cards. Discard either of the Amazonas Pendulum monsters. Then when you special summon an Amazonas, they place themselves into the Pendulum zones. Discard Amazonas Baby Tiger and it will special summon itself. Discard Spiritualist, get something you want, bounce it for Spiritualist, get Polarization. All great options. The more cards Amazonas gets that have value while in the grave, the better Amazonas Princess gets. Amazonas Princess is a fantastic card that brings Amazonas and as an archetype together, just as any good monarch should. Amazonas Princess takes the number one spot. So what do you think of this list? Any cards you think should be here? Say so in the comments. Till next time friends, this has been some gamer dude and thanks for watching.